Hello and welcome to today's video, which is going to be about repressing makeup products. I know there are so many videos out there about repressing makeup, but about a month and a half ago, I posted some pictures on Instagram of some products that I had repressed and quite a few people asked me how I did it. I call my way the lazy way of repressing. I do use the isopropyl alcohol, but I don't actually press it down. I'll show you obviously in the demonstration how I do this. Again, there are so many videos on this and there are a lot of different ways to do it. I've definitely experimented quite a bit. This is just what works well for me and honestly, it is so easy. You can use this to repress makeup that is very close to the edge if you're a project panner. I do that quite a bit. Also, you can use this if you drop some powder product and you want to fix it, or you can also create Franken makeup where you combine different things together to, yeah, get a new color. So in the demonstration, I will be repressing a face powder, and then also I will be showing you how I create a Franken eyeshadow. Franken eyeshadow will be going in my Pan That palette, so if you've been watching my Pan That palette, you'll get a bit of a spoiler here. So I will link my Project Pan playlist and my Pan That palette playlists in the description box. I don't always repress things in my Project Pan. Sometimes I get a little lazy and I just crush it up and use it as a loose powder. But I will say if I do repress, it is a little bit less messy. So yeah, this is gonna be really, really simple. So let's just get started. Alrighty, I'm gonna be doing two different things. The first thing I'm gonna do is this It Cosmetics powder. I want to repress that into this Wet n Wild container. I just finished this powder and this is just really difficult to get my brush in now. I don't have a lot left, so I think that's going to make it easier for me. And then the other thing I'm gonna be doing is with my Pan That palette, I want to create a Franken eyeshadow. So I want to combine this champagne with the blue. This color is just, it's a little bit too dark and muddy looking, so I figure making it, mixing it with a lighter color will work very, very well. All right, like most repressing videos, you're gonna need isopropyl alcohol, although I've seen people do this with other things. This is just what I've used. A spoon, a little mixing bowl. This is just a Pyrex. I have found that that works nicely. And I have a different cup where I poured some of the isopropyl alcohol into so that I don't pour too much because that is the key to this because I'm not actually going to press the powder down. I have found that that's just an unnecessary step for me. I've tried it multiple ways and I have done the actual pressing, but I have found if I use the bare minimum of the isopropyl alcohol, I just found that it's not necessary. However, if you use too much of the isopropyl alcohol, the powder will be extremely soft um, and very, very powdery, which is why then you would need to actually press it down with like a paper towel or something like that. But I have found if I just use the bare minimum, it's really not necessary. This is not really a necessary thing, but I have it and I use it. This is um, a depotting tool that I got from Z Palette. I bought this at Ulta like multiple years ago when I was doing a ton of depotting. I just found that it's very easy to crush up the powder and remove it from the pan with this, but you could just use the spoon or a butter knife. This is definitely not necessary. All right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna start with the IT Cosmetics powder. And so step one is just getting it out of this container and into the bowl. And I just start crushing it and dumping it in there. There it is. And I want to crush this up as finely as I can. I'm trying to do this with my left hand so you can see what I'm doing. I just realized I probably should have put the camera on the other side, but I didn't think of that. So basically just crush this up as small as possible. Alrighty, I've crushed it up and I try to just keep it on the edge of the bowl right there. And then we're gonna go with the isopropyl alcohol. And again, I do recommend you could either use a spoon or like a little dropper just so that you don't use too much. Because again, if you do, I mean, it's fine if you do, but then you do actually probably need to press it down. And honestly, I'm lazy and I just really don't wanna do that. So I have my empty pan here ready to go. And I'm just gonna reach in here and grab like a really, really small amount. That may even be too much. So not even a full spoon of this. And then 
pour it on the powder and just mix it up. Yeah, this is a decent amount of powder. I'm probably going to need a little bit more. As you can tell, it's pretty dry. All right, I've worked it into a little paste here, as you can see. And I think I am going to just try to make it slightly more liquidy. All right, so this is about the consistency that I want it, where it's just liquidy, but not very liquidy, if that makes sense. So not a super thick paste, but yeah. All right, so now I'm just going to scoop it up in the spoon and I just literally just pour it into the pan. There it is. So now I just kind of move it around to get it to thin out. I know this is like ridiculously easy. This is not complicated at all. And there's so many, you know, there's definitely other ways you can do it, but I just found that this is really simple and works well. It's a little blob. Um, honestly, I just move it around until it kind of stops moving and then yeah, let it just sit and dry overnight. So what I'm gonna do now, um, I'm just gonna wash this stuff and come back and then we'll make the Franken eyeshadow. Okay, on to the Franken eyeshadow. As I mentioned, I wanna mix the champagne with the blue. Now, as you can tell, there is probably going to be more than one pan worth because I only have hit a little bit of pan on this color. So it may take up two spots in this palette, which is okay. Um, obviously, you could repress into so many other things. So you could repress from a palette into like a single eyeshadow pan. There's a lot of options, but because it's my pan that palette, I want to continue to work on it. I am just going to put it in back in this same palette. So same thing. I've got my bowl and I'm just going to start crushing this in here. All right, those two are cleared out. I will say <laughs> this depotting tool does make it pretty easy to get the powder um, out of the eyeshadow pan. So this is what it looks like now. And same thing, gonna just mix it up like I did with the IT Cosmetics powder. Not gonna lie, this kinda looks like dirt. I don't know that this color is actually gonna be very pretty, but hoping for the best. Same thing, gonna just add some of the isopropyl to it. Here we are, a similar consistency, not too liquidy, but not super thick either. And same thing, just gonna pour it in the eyeshadow pan. It actually just barely fit in that pan. I mean, I think you do lose a tiny bit of product when you're doing this, so it just about fit into that pan. It looks pretty wonky, not gonna lie, but yeah, hopefully it works out. So. I just leave these open overnight. Um, yeah, and hopefully they worked out. I'll show you what they hopefully look like in the morning. Hopefully they're gonna look good. Not gonna lie, this eyeshadow color, I don't know that it's gonna look that great, but um, if I remember and it works out, I'll try to show an eyeshadow look using it. So yeah, this is just the way I do it. Honestly, this is the lazy person's repressing. You can use this to make Franken products, repress things you're close to, or if you drop something and it's salvageable, um, you know, then you can do that as well. I have done that also. So yeah, that is just my lazy technique. I know there's a lot of videos um, out there about this. So yeah, that is it. If you're interested, I'll link my project pan playlist, my pan that palette. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.